Hey everyone, welcome to Disappearance. Today we're going to check out Horrorland, which has a new mind mechanic. So mind is you. You can see, it looks like I'm controlling the fungus, but I'm actually not. I'm controlling this cursor. But if I pick up an object, I start to control it. However, there's currently grass to defeat, so ever getting on top of that destroys it. Although it does, interestingly, pick up the grass as like, part of mine, so when the mine goes on top of the grass, the grass itself counts as a character that can be defeated. Okay, well, we obviously want fungus is move in some capacity. It would seem to me that we also want the word fungus on the right side for fungus is win. There we go. Oh, what the... I don't know why it's pushing mine like that, but okay. Maybe we should just get on top of it in the same turn. Okay, that's weird that's being uncooperative. I'm just going to maybe set fungus to move up on the left side. So that after that, I can break it and then stand on the fungus. There we go. All right, level two. Over the wall. Okay, so here's the mind, and for some reason, it's pushable. I... Oh, huh. Huh. Well, we just selected the wall there. Okay, well, if I do that and then mind is you, I can destroy the wall because the wall is under possession of the mind, and therefore, when it's defeated, the wall goes along with it. I can do mind is kekin, too. Well... This isn't useful because you can see at the edge, the wind is also blocked. I don't fully know what to do about it. I mean, I can do that and try to get over the wall, but it seems like not the best idea. Okay, so I can do this. Breaking the wind near wall is defeat, so I can move it here and then do wall is mind. Okay, oh. Huh. Apparently that is, does not actually work. Like, the cursor doesn't appear, although it does count as possessed like it was a mind. Right, but Wall as you would win this, right? So, if I just reset and then switch mind as you, Keke as you, does that work? Okay. Dude, look, this is good. Then I push the mind in position. Okay, then Wall is you, which will destroy every wall because Wall is defeat and it's you. Okay, now we can get this win out, right? And then do Keke's win. There we go. There we go. Dumpty Dumpty. Alright. Hi. Oh, it's an egg on a wall. Memes. Okay, so I can do mind is push. Is its mind already inherently push? Anyway, you can do that and then mind is not push and then try to break this wall as stop statement. Oh, actually stack. Yeah, because, okay, any object on the mind, I guess it counts as a mind, so that means that the text on top of the mind is not pushed. There we go. Alright. Okay, level four. Ghostbuster. Okay. Well, we can get rid of the ghosts, right? If I do mind is... Mm. Okay, why is that happening? Mind is melt. Yeah, oh, oh mind is defeat, that's why. Mind is defeat, so if I ever make it something that's like you, it just dies. Okay, so there's like text back here too. I can break Fofo is weak. Oh, okay, so all it was needed was to break Fofo is weak, so I could push text onto the other side. Alright, ignore the keke clear, please. Metal detector. Alright. Oh. Okay, so mind is not you. And I become part of the mind when I'm inside there. So, I also can't do mind as you like that. See, look at the distinction between, like, the outlined mind, maybe it refers to the cursor, and this real text mind, you can see at the bottom right. Or maybe it's the other way around. But anyway, cog is not mind, and now I can go through here without it being caught. Okay, and then just cog is win, there we go. Level six. Alright, that's already a Baba level name. What is going on there? Mind is move. Huh. Hmm. Okay, interesting. What? I guess that's because when this is happening, I can cause a push to happen. Weird, but how does it help me get out? They do now stack sometimes, though. Hmm. Oh! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. It just collected. Oh my gosh! Oh, the double moving! Because wall is only defeat, and I just switched to vertical. Alright, nice. There we go. Level 7 now? Ghost house. Oh, great. Okay. What the heck is this? Who's... Shishi. Shishi. New character unlocked. Okay, so we have a mind here. 
Mind, not bush, fungus fruit. Hmm. So what? We want to get past the la uh, lamp. I see lamp is shut. Fungus is open. So some sort of fungus push is going to be necessary. Okay, but there's no fungus right now. Maybe we need to do through this fungus. And an object that will get past the water when that comes up. Note that text. We have text is float and mind is float. So they cannot sink into the water because they're floating. So unfortunately, we'll have to do the fruit fungus. Did I really do that? Anyway, and fungus is, is push. Try to open this. And then how do you get past this water? Can't play as the mind? Hmm. Yeah, because not CC is not you. So you can't play as anything but CC. Unless maybe the mind was already on the tile. Hmm. We would do like mind is not push and try to stack the mind. Okay, and then stack the mind on top. Then when I switch it. All I do is become playable text, that's not that useful. And I'm trying to somehow control CC using the mind as like a surrogate here, but it isn't working. I mean, you can try to control the water. I don't think there's any difference there. This level honestly has like the lovely house, skull house aesthetic of like, being able to turn an object into two objects. That's the main game reference. But we did have that mind is not push thing from before happening. Which means that we can stack text just using the mind. <laughs> If I stack that, I can turn the fruit into two objects. That's that's all it is. There you go. And now fungus is push. Fungus is push. There you go. And the other CC goes in the water. There you go. I think the win is like what? Not is win. So CC is wins included. There we go. Okay, fruit buster. Okay, we got- oh, we have to really think about, like, the differences between the mines now. What that- what is the fabu fabu? Baba OCs have gone too far. Brutus defeat, okay. What's the difference between mine- the, the two different types of mines do? Okay, that destroys only the cursor. It destroys both of it? Okay, so... Now we just do fabu fabu is win. Level two, extra. All right, mine is pet. Okay, pet has no properties besides that animation. Got a ghost in the way. Mm, can include a nope. Can't include the fruit in there. Okay, well, but that doesn't include the objects possessed by the mine. So I guess we just have to like push it off, like through the ghost, and then there's one. There we go. All right, level three. Extra, and I'm a cog again. Familiar level. Mind is not- how the- how do you even get through? We can't make statements here. There are no, there's no good statements to make. What? Oh, was not just a joke? Not mind is win? <laughs> Never get to the right side. Oh, thanks, spaghetti monster. That, mm, that's prevented. What the? Is this like a parsing bug? What the? Oh, haha! <laughs> mine is cog is made vertically. Good joke. Mine is cog right here. Okay, so then we need an is win. Not cog is not used there. We do not cog is win. We don't exactly have free access to the rules. We do not cog is used. Start controlling the walls. Okay. Well, this should give us access to an is. Can you just say not mine is win, yeah? There you go. And there we go, that's the world complete. Even though it's this can't complete, it's the world complete, alright?